Steve Morris, Steve Morris Engines. And uh, this is a engine, a new engine build. Well, almost about 95% new engine build for my good buddy, uh, Clark Rosenstengel. Rosenstengel, yeah, Stengel, there you go. And uh, anyways, uh, this is some of the stuff. Well, Clark won his class in Drag Week last year. Really super sweet. In fact, I believe it is the fastest, the uh, real uh, Gen 5 Camaro uh, on the planet in land speed it's already been uh, 240 something i think we're, we're planning on trying to get this thing to go 260 this year uh with this engine and last year he went a little bit slower than i think 230 or 240 something like that uh in the standing mile uh almost 200 in the standing half and then goes out with the exact same engine right afterwards wins drag week with uh in this 4200 pound car i think it is at least 4000 pound car uh drag radials uh, OnStar, AC, power windows, everything. Uh, this thing goes 780s last year with not even close to this much horsepower. So this year, Clark wanted to up the ante some, so, but we needed to keep the everything in the same package. So that's why we still are using this intake, which he used last year. And that still makes everything fit in the car. It's air to air intercooled. This is a street engine. Period. Street engine. You can drive this all through drag week. Lord willing, win it all again and go faster than 780s. He's hoping to go more like uh, 760 or 750s, 740s, right around there. Still in almost a 4,000 pound car. Um, but this thing can drive back, drive to California and back from Michigan. Um, I will show you some stuff a little later on uh, what we're doing with our valve train, our, our camshafts. Everything that we're learning and doing now with our Spintron that we have in-house that we're making things better with. But uh, what you're going to see here is uh, the intercooler tubing, uh, which is small, uh, and exhaust, which is very small. This is a three and a half inch exhaust uh, with a 96 millimeter wheel. Uh, the wheel, turbine wheel, is bigger than the actual exhaust is. This is a hindrance. Uh, but it's all part of his packaging and that's what we're just going to run. So this thing will make more horsepower than what we're going to show you out here. Um, this is a bullseye uh, 83 millimeter TCT wheel. And uh, like those guys over there, they're just down the road from us. And we have uh, uh, the upgrades of this from Clark's old engine. Like I said, we kept the intake manifold and we kept the all hot side tubing and all cold side tubing but this is a Noonan billet block billet aluminum water jacketed block uh, with, with all our machine work and all our goodies done to the internals this is a all pro 12-4 uh, cylinder heads with our port work and combustion chamber mods with our SMX compression ring hoops and receiver grooves and uh, of course uh, our solid roller camshaft, and I will talk to you about that uh, a little bit later after we make the dyno pull and after we run this thing. But uh, this is a really nice piece. Runs on gasoline, there's no biofuel in this thing. This thing runs and drives on pump gas. In fact, it'll make, in fact, it actually makes 1600 horsepower on pump gas. Um, on race gas is where we turn the wick up on this thing and uh, makes significantly more, and I'll show you that. But uh, this thing runs on uh, pump gas, hence the intercooler, and then he changes fuel over to a C16, and we run on uh, that fuel. So it's not a methanol motor. This is a real live street car. You run it anywhere you want to. And uh, like I said, it makes 1,600 on pump gas because it's only 16 pounds of boost right there. Uh, 16, 17 pounds of boost, I think it is. Um, anyways. What we'll do is, uh, and you know, turbo smart waste gates, ho I'm sorry, Holly EFI uh, with Holly boost control, um, the Siemens DECA injector, and the stainless work headers, um, our piston ring package. Of course, this is our complete engine, uh, our complete long block, and uh, you know, with his old stuff of the uh, intercooler intake manifold and hot side tubing. So anyways, let's go out and make a pull on this thing. I'll show you all the numbers, and then I will show you uh, some cool Spintron stuff of what is gonna make this thing even better um, than even what we had last year, and you know, Lord willing, everything will work out great. So 
Let's go out and make a pull on this and take a look at it. Now, uh, what we'll do here is we will take a look at the numbers. Make the camera just right. So you can see. There we go. And uh, I'll show you here. I mean, this is, um, you know, I've run it out to 8,000, but it starts laying over right through here. It lays over because, like I said earlier, about the exhaust and that intake manifold. There's, uh, there's more left on the table with this deal. But this is exactly the way Clark runs it in the car. So that's exactly the way we're running it right now until he changes some things, uh, including putting one of our billet intake manifolds on it, either the Sean's alloy one or my own uh, race one. Um, either way, it'll pick up an easy, uh, it'll pick up an easy 200 horsepower or so with better exhaust and, uh, or with a larger exhaust, because that's too small, and a, uh, one of our intake manifolds for sure. But as you can see right here, this thing is 2541 at 7200. And really doesn't, I mean, that's just because it made peak up there. But uh, it's still making uh, 2538 at 74. 7800 is still 2500 horsepower. Um, and it can go up here to 5000 RPM is uh, 1226. Now it is, uh, the boost is coming in real hard right through here. Um, that's just the way I have the boost controller set up. Uh, 6,000 RPM, 2149. Uh, this is more than Clark made all last year at the highest horsepower level that we had for the car. Um, so by over 100 horsepower more. Uh, 7,000 RPM is 2530. And 1,906 foot-pounds of torque. And our peak torque right there was... Uh, at 6,500, well, I mean, and, and this torque number changes all the time depending on how much boost to put into it, what the boost curve is actually looking like. But here, I mean, it's 1,944 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, right there, that's a, that's a good meaty curve for sure. But, uh, excuse me, anyways, uh, 24, or 2541, and uh, pretty happy with that, and uh, looking forward to uh, Clark getting this thing all going in the car going and doing the land speed uh, land speed runs and also uh, drag week and everything else that Clark does with the car so anyways uh, oh you know what I want to show you uh, what we're doing with the camshaft and all our valve train technology so let me go get all this stuff around here and I'll show you exactly what we're doing now what I wanted to show you on this LS this is our cam doctor uh, spring checker, actually the spring test system. It's all part of the Spintron here. We use all of this to, let me go over here, give you better stuff. That's a second engine I'm dynoing right now. But here's the one we're talking about for Clark. And uh, what you can see here is, look at the gauge there. Now this is Seat pressure of 175, and this has 560 pounds of spring pressure over the nose. So that's a over glorified hydraulic roller in sense. And uh, um, like I said, this is 8,000 RPM LS base with 175 pounds of spring pressure. This is drag weak. Uh, road worthy as which we make stuff so all that spintron stuff over there and all the camshaft development all the valve train development is all going into our packages and uh, we are trying to make these things as best as possible so anyways that was the one last thing I wanted to show you 
And uh, I'm Steve Morris. Have a great day.